oil prices have certainly broken out of a consolidation pattern. You can see that momentum is very bullish for oil, and it also suggests that perhaps oil has further to run maybe to $81, $82 per barrel, maybe test this high at $83. Uh, you know, it seems that's at least how it looks, uh, technically speaking. Uh, when we look at the same thing with gasoline, gasoline also appears to have broken uh, a downtrend with uh, a potential for it to run back to around 290. It has, a, it has momentum in it that's turning positive, but it has a little bit more work to do. I think you really want to see the RSI get up to around 70 to indicate that there's potentially a, a new higher trend that's formed in gasoline prices. Um, the other thing, too, is that when we look at the price of gold, you can see gold is very much uh, heading up towards and near the upper end of its trading range. This is a, a big area for gold uh, because, again, there's not really much stopping gold from going higher once it clears this um, resistance level at 1980. That certainly could allow for a move back to 2050. Uh, you can see that there's still plenty of room for the RSI and momentum to go before gold really gets too stretched. Also, if we continue to see the dollar weaken, that's going to also provide a tailwind for gold. So you, you probably, uh, at this point, if you're looking at gold, you're looking for a breakout above this level. Clearly, if we fail, you know, you're talking about gold moving back down towards 1900 or so. Also, if we take a look at natural gas, you can see that that's been trending higher. Now, natural gas has come down quite a bit. Um, you could try to argue here that maybe there's a bull flag forming in natural gas. Um, if that is the case, then uh, there is the potential for, you know, natural gas prices to go significantly higher from here. Um, where that would be, I mean, again, if we look at it from this standpoint, uh, you could be looking at Nat Gas at least retesting this 301 level, and that would line up with, uh, with an extension to the 78.6% uh, off of this initial move. So there's certainly a case to see Nat Gas move up to about $3 if you get that breakout above this trend line. Clearly, um, your, your support level in Nat Gas comes around 250 uh, and maybe a little bit lower given where the overall trend is.